Welcome to today's video where you're going to learn how to avoid getting stopped out so much by creating the perfect trade plan in all of your trades. But before we get into the video, only about 31% of you people watching this are actually subscribed. So make sure to click that subscribe button if you like learning things like this. Now let's get into the video. It's a short one. It's only about two minutes. So watch the whole thing. One R, capital R is the variable of risk. It's the difference between this yellow and red line. It's the amount that you're risking. So in this trade plan, a trade plan is an entry, a stop, and a target. In this trade plan, your entry is 1381, your stop is 1332. That is a, I'm gonna just round say 50 cent stop loss. So it's 50 cent risk, capital R equals 50 cents. And so you wanna make sure that you're, you don't set a target over one R just to secure it. You need to set your target at the next resistance level. This was a psychological resistance level at 15 whole number. There's horizontal and psychological resistance levels. Horizontal are the ones that you're used to that it bounces off of a bunch of times, three times at least. Psychological is like a round number or high of day, all time high, low of day, all time low, stuff like that. That's all psychological numbers. So I set my target here. And then after I set my target at the next resistance level, then I calculate, does this have greater than one to one reward to risk? The answer is yes. So I take the trade. If not, I don't move the target. To, let's say the target was something like here. Well, that's not one to one reward to risk. My reward is less than my risk. This reward is not worth the risk. Instead of saying, oh, well, okay, then I'm just going to change my target to be up here. That's one to one. So I should do that, right? Well, no, because what if it bounces off of the resistance that the target should have been at. Instead of moving the target to try and fit the trade for you, you can't force a trade to work. You simply move on to the next trade. The reward is not worth the risk in that case. It's not worth the risk, so you move on.